When Donald Trump sent a eulogy for the late Kobe Bryant into the Twitterverse Sunday night, it duly returned a throwback tweet capable of souring his happiest moods. The author of that message, posted in 2017, was Kobe Bryant himself, a P.O.T. U.S. whose name alone creates division and anger, whose words inspire dissension and hatred, can't possibly make America great again, ouch. But what prompted Kobe to air his political views? Here's the rundown. At the time, Trump had just ticked off NBA players by withdrawing an invitation to the White House for Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors, an NBA team based in San Francisco, California, after Curry said he personally wasn't interested in going. Going to the White House is considered a great honor for a championship team. Stephen Curry is hesitating, therefore invitation is withdrawn, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, September 23, 2017 Kobe Bryant's one-time L.A. Lakers teammate, LeBron James, called Trump a bum, you bum at Stephen Curry 30 already said he ain't going. So therefore ain't no invite. Going to White House was a great honor until you showed up, LeBron James, at King James, September 23, 2017 and, of course, Kobe himself weighed in. Hey whose words inspire dissension and hatred can't possibly make America great again, Kobe Bryant, at Kobe Bryant, September 23, 2017 when Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna died in a helicopter crash this weekend, and Trump tweeted a condolence message, some Twitterati drew the P.O.T. U.S.'s attention to the 2017 episode. But that wasn't all. Some of them also pointed to Barack Obama's message for Kobe Bryant's family and accused Donald Trump of plagiarism. Were they right? You be the judge, Melania and I send our warmest condolences to Vanessa and the wonderful Bryant family. May God be with you all, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, January 26, 2020 Kobe was a legend on the court and just getting started in what would have been just as meaningful a second act. To lose Gianna is even more heartbreaking to us as parents. Shell and I send love and prayers to Vanessa and the entire Bryan family on an unthinkable day. Barack Obama at Barack Obama, January 26, 2020 Let's Block Ads. Why? 